you want to be a remote worker or a freelancer in 2025, then there are so many tools that you need to learn before you even start, okay? Huh? Tools? Yes, you heard it right. Tools. And one of that is very, very popular. It is called Google Workspace. What do you mean, Jam? You know, Google Mail, Google Calendar, Google Appointments, Google Meet, Docs, Sheets presentation and all of those stuff okay you need to learn all these because these are tools our client usually use for their business okay so you better listen hey guys it's Shem the founder of Banner Review University and welcome to all my tools where I talk about the list of tools the basic ones that a freelancer or remote worker should learn before entering this world of course before we start yes we do have a notion a high landing page where you can find all the links, the resources, the tutorials, everything in that Notion board and the schedule at the same time. So do not move forward with this video without that Notion board because you will be needing it until the end of this series, okay? So what are we waiting for? Let's start learning. Okay guys, Google Workspace, this is one of the main platform our clients are using most of the time because it's already shared. So part like the counter part of that is microsoft 360 okay but microsoft 360 is not is something that not everyone uses at the moment because everyone is at google right now so when i say google workspace it's a combination of google mail google calendar inside google calendar is google appointments google meets okay um the google docs google sheets google present and google drive these are the basic cloud-based platforms that we use on a daily basis for our business it's somehow like our microsoft excel microsoft word it's good that you know all these but now they have a cloud version which is called microsoft 360 but nowadays 90 percent of our clients are using google workspace so please 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 let's focus on this module all right okay let's start with one which is google mail what do you need to learn about google mail when you say Google Mail, this is the email platform that you will use. There are other email platforms such as Yahoo, right? But most of the clients now are using Google Mail, especially those who are or who has a business because they actually customize their email addresses. They don't, they don't use at gmail.com, but sometimes they use at barangayva.com. So they buy that specific package and customize it to their business. That's why Google is really really popular nowadays for everyone because it's really a package for a business especially for an online business you know um so here you have to learn how to actually you know do inbox zero how to actually um respond create an email how to draft an email how to do um scheduled emails how to do templates how to label how to all those customization based on the needs of your clients so these are the things you need to learn with google mail okay a lot of those like even templates all of those that you need next is calendar we say calendar google calendar you have to be able to learn how to use calendar appointments which is like calendly where um the ta the the clients will book for a call okay and it will automatically like be added to the calendar of the client so that's google appointments and then how to add events how to add tasks how to color code how to add like um time how to how to add guests how to set up google mail or how to not google mail but google meet how to set it up with um, um with zoom for that meeting platform all the things about you know google meet all the things about Google Calendar, like setting appointments, everything you need to learn at the same time. Google Drive, which is the main storage of, you know, Google Workspace. It's like, uh, what do you call this? Oh my gosh, I forgot. It's like your external hard drive, but cloud-based. Okay, you can create folders in there. You can add your, all your files in there and then you can share it to your friends, your colleagues, your client things like that okay so that is google drive for you you need to learn how to organize the google drive you need to learn how to actually like um create folders to folders and then you need to you need to learn how to share you know all these all these things 
Okay, you need to learn. Okay, next. Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Present. It's like our Word, okay, Excel, and PowerPoint. Okay, you have to be able to learn how to use especially Google Sheets. Okay, Google Sheets is where you put all your um, tabulations, everything about um, maybe profit and loss. Okay, like everything that clients put on Excel is where we put, you know, is how, is how we use our Google Sheet at the same time. It has formulas, right? You have to learn how to do all these if formulas, all the basic formulas, and all the formulas in the world. <laughs> yeah. For Google Docs, okay, it's very easy. It's just like Microsoft Word. No sweat. Super easy. But you know what's really struggling for me? Google Presentation. I feel so limited with Google Presentation. I don't know why. That's why I always use Canva for presentation. But you have to learn this, okay? You have to learn this. So these are the things you need to learn about Google Workspace. Very important because clients use that, okay? 90% of our clients would really use that, okay? So if you don't know how to use this, then you are left behind. For the demo, for the actual demo, okay? I'm sorry. But some of those are in Tagalog, but we'll add, you know, we'll add English subtitles. It's in our Notion board. It's all there. If you haven't downloaded or accessed it yet, it's in the description box. Okay, go get that now. Focus on that this week and I'm excited to move forward with the next set of tools. See you guys!